You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you're done, no. Your boy Brutal him on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So we gonna get straight into the video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're making a push for that 200k. It's on the way. Now, this is a topic I had to speak about for a while now. Because somebody came to my live stream and they asked me a very simple question. So I had to sit back and think about it. It was like, bro. Bro, next gen is failing us, man. <laughs> I was like, huh. You know what? I really can't disagree. So I had to sit back and go and look at a few things. And go and look at that. The last transition when we made that jump from next gen. I'm talking about from the Xbox 360 and PS3 to the PS4 and Xbox One. And I want y'all to check out these trailers right here. Now, this trailer is the one that made me go out and buy the xbox one and the ps4 I, I had both of them i always owned both consoles it's something i always did man Now, they did have a current gen version of the game back then as well. Check this trailer out. Y'all see the significant difference between the current gen version and the next gen version. There was a significant jump in generations that barely anybody stayed on the last gen, which didn't happen this time around when they made the jump to next gen. Because I want y'all to check out the NBA 2K21, which is when the next generation of consoles came into the game. I want y'all to check out the current gen trailer first. Check this out. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I ain't gonna front. It was pretty solid. Then, of course, they gave us a little catfish with this Zion trailer for the next gen version. Check this out. Check out the textures. Check out the lighting. Check out the sweat. <laughs> Check out the animations for the next gen version. I want y'all to make this is one of the biggest catfish I've ever saw. Y'all, check this out.
Yeah. <laughs> then they actually drop a gameplay trailer as well. Check the gameplay trailer out. Not bad at all, not bad, but was it a significant jump from what we had in previous generations? No, it wasn't. To be honest with y'all, I was expecting something like this. Now, this is from a motion capture company that they posted some YouTube a few years ago. No, it's not NBA players, of course, but check out the animation, the f how fluid this gameplay is. Uh, let's check this out, y'all. And that's what makes me excited for that new pro play technology right there. I think 2K is slowly transitioning into it. And to be honest with y'all, I don't think these next gen consoles are as powerful as promised. Because remember, when the consoles launched, they were promising us 120 frames at 4k they promised us i went out and bought me a new monitor till this day i'm yet to play any game on these next gen consoles that is truly 4k at 120 hertz y'all now it's so bad that i even saw an article out there talking about grand theft auto 6 not even being able to play at 60 frames on the new PS5 Pro whenever it drops because they already leaked the specs and they said it just won't be able to run 60 frames imagine the PS5 Pro dropping which is supposed to be the most powerful console out of all the next gens and it still won't be able to push 120 hertz <laughs> this is crazy to me y'all I'm not giving 2K any pass, but I truly feel across gaming, next gen had failed us. Let me know what y'all think. And this is somebody who plays a lot of different games. And I know a lot of people want a more arcade style, but I think we kind of passed that, y'all. We need to see more advancements, more realism in gaming across the board. Now, I'm involved in sim racing, and that's what they strive towards. So when you go and play games like ACC, there's always debates about how realistic it is, especially in the sim racing community. When people play iRacing, there's a huge debate. Even Gran Turismo 7, people are striving. Those are the games that you could go to. Most of them are on PC. The one that's on console is Gran Turismo 7. But when you go to PC, there's so much movement in the right direction when it comes to gaming. But these next-gen consoles, has been a huge failure. Imagine that trailer that we saw for Grand Theft Auto 6. Imagine all the stuff we saw is gonna be in 30 frames. Y'all think about that. When we talking about next gen consoles, y'all. I just felt like we stuck in mud <laughs> and we need some huge advantage and they lied to us. They lied to us. I would like my money back right on front me, y'all. I was paying for 120 frames at 4K and I'm yet to play 2K at anything close. I was I was able to play that 2K at 120 hertz 
early then they actually patch it because i think it was doing too much damage to the console so they putting the consoles under too much pressure so they eventually patch it on the xbox series x and s so now the most i could get out of it is 120 hertz at 1080p imagine playing 1080p this day and age imagine imagine when you upscale it to the 4k it's not true 4k it's the same thing like when i play card on consoles and push up there i'm like bro when i go to pc it's way sharper way better that's true 4k at 100 and something hertz so let me know what y'all think man is there something i've been noticing and something i had to go and check back at and yeah the the jump in next gen wasn't big enough and i think that's why most of the gaming community trust me it's not just 2k people complaining about gaming it's across the board any community that was looking for a significant jump in next gen right now is disgruntled and complaining let me know if i have a point here <laughs> let me know if you all agree disagree let me know your opinion on this whole topic uh, again has next gen really failed us i believe so that's my conclusion man i can't i'm looking forward to grand theft auto 6 and now i hope they drop it on pc one time because they might have a delay on pc i hope they drop it on pc because to play a game at 30 frames in this day and age <laughs> come on my g come on my g anyways y'all how best one until next time be safe out there y'all peace